Hi, I just wanted to share the newest album I've just finished making. The papers used were the Pebbles uh, American Craft Collection Special Delivery. And here's the album. Now this album is meant for grandmother, but um, after making the first boy album, I realized that I was quite limiting who could use it. But So now I've learned that I can make this that's removable and exchangeable to whatever would please the person who would buy this. Um, the cover is made out of chipboard and paper. The side has lace and ribbons. A multitude of flowers I had around, some dew drops. And the picture frame is one of those from Michael's in the dollar bin and I just um, used some gesso on it and a little bit of coloring. So the first page has a the poem, the Monday's Child poem, and then that lifts up, and we've got a space for um, pictures here, the information about the baby, journaling cards, mats to put pictures on, page two, I, this is where I got really creative, I wanted to make a little girl's frilly little bed, so this one here is made out of uh, satin and not satin, silk, and um, lace, and it pulls out, and it's actually a mat to put a picture on, on both sides, there's a little pillow, I made the little quilt with several kinds of papers, and then just made the X's to make it look like it had been sewn together, and a little journaling mat, a journaling card. There's a little pillow and a teddy bear and the word cutie that came from a collection that I've had for years lying around. Now this one here I used um, Stampin' Up's, one of their Simply Scent collections. And uh, this is attached with a magnet. But when you pull it open, it expands and there's four or five envelopes in here. And each one has a mat for a picture along with some journaling on the back. And then as it grows and expands, you can put more pictures in there and it'll still hold with the magnet. This one here is, of course, we all know how many diapers parents and grandparents are going to be changing. So this is uh, for the first diaper changes and whatever. And again, more mats, more photo mats, and yet another one. And if you wanted to, you could still put one on the bottom here. This one here is, you are loved more than you will ever know. And that's probably true for most children. They don't realize how much we love them until they become parents themselves. This flips open and it is magnetized as well. So if you wanted to, you could put some pictures in there and they'd hold in place. And, oops, another mat there. And you can put pictures in here as well. The hearts are just hearts that I cut out with my Stampin' Up! punches and use some glossy accents on it. This one here is a double pull-out. You can put a picture here, a picture here. Close this up. There's a mat in here. Another double mat in here. On this page, it says, you are my sunshine. And this is an embossing folder that I have. It's one of those little tiny ones, and it says little bundles. And this little picture mat there, made to look like a little Polaroid that you can put a picture in. And just buttons that I had lying around and some of the Stampin' Up! buttons. And you open that up. And again, more space for journaling and pictures and all the picture mats and another one down there. And again, there's lots of room that you can put more in here. And this is magnetized as well, so that will hold them all in there. This one here is tied with one of those little twirly things. It's a sweet and love. And you open it up. Space for either journaling or mat or pictures. Another mat here. And I made this one here with little tiny diaper pins and ribbons. And there's uh, several cards in here that you can put pictures and journaling. And it goes back in there. I always find it difficult once you put a brad, then you need to cover it up, so I had to 
use some other flowers that I had lying around on the inside as well. This one says Our Girls, and it's some of those bottle caps that have the letters printed on them. And I made a little banner out of paper. And the letters, I do believe, are... I well, we can't remember now. The ones you get at Winners, anyways. And again, a paper uh, photo mat, photo mat journaling area, photo mat, photo mat, I think, this, yeah, another journaling area here. And these little stamps are just cute little stamps I had in my in my stash that I've had for years and never knew what to do with. And this last one here, this is all done with Flux, um, Martha Stewart Flux sample, I think it was. And this one opens up this way and this way for more photo mats and journaling. And then when you close that up, you can also lift that. And this was from another paper collection. I'm not sure what it was, but there's a, a whole page of these little crossword puzzles and eventually I thought if somebody gets this they could put in words that would describe the baby or how they felt or and then more mats in there and more space that you could slide pictures in. I haven't done anything to the back of this one yet but I will be putting the handmade with love with the stamp on it. Anyways I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got another one for a little boy that I made and also a multimedia canvas that I'm going to be showing. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye bye.